this is a Suzuki uh, 1990 um, Katana 750, but it's kind of special because it has a big bore kit. Uh, brand new, uh, big bore. It's a 907, 76 millimeter oversized everything, including GSXR 1100 sleeves that you have to upgrade. Um, and it just got a valve job too, and all kinds of other stuff. So it's virtually, virtually uh, mechanically new. Um, the uh, frame uh, mileage is 18,000 approximately. And uh, it's got about 61 miles on it right now from the, from the new motor. It has power more than enough. You have to watch the front end. It will come up. And uh, we, we haven't really revved it except to just to set the rings a little bit. So it's a beast. And it's a good looking beast, as you can tell. So let's take a l walk around and I'll start up. Um, we did all the brakes, it's got new brake pads, got brand new tires on it. Uh, the forks are rebuilt. It's got new steering races. Um, we just changed them out because we had the forks off. So it handles really well. And what's nice about the Katanas is they're still com comfortable and functional. It's a six speed. I imagine it's putting out at least 100 horsepower plus the rear wheel now. It's uh, it's like it's basically like a GSXR 750 um, and maybe plus some. Um, everything works. All the directionals, all the lights. It's got a brand new diamond O-ring chain on it. Um, this side is. I'll have to show you this side. Um, and turn my camera off and move the bike. I'll do that now. I'm sure I'm going to forget some of the things we've done to this bike. Um, but I'll try to remember. Um, the brakes are done, the forks are done, new fork seals, new fork oil, new brakes, rebuilt calipers. This is all in the pictures that you'll see with the ad. New steering stem uh, bearings, Timken. Um, everything works once again. Speedo, tack. This is the other side. Got some nice decals on it. No dents in the tank. It's got a what is that? 18, 18 four showing. Um, like I said, the motor's new. You can see the odometer. It's 61 miles right there. That's what it's got on it. The new motor. Um, I think we rebuilt the Pepcock and we also took the tank apart um, and uh, used metal ready on it and uh, pour 15 so you never have to worry about rust again ever ever so it's really ready to rock and roll um, it's a little vintage but I think you're going to surprise your friends with this bike with the big bore kit on it we are going to change the decal where it says 750 on either side on the tail, that's going to say 907. That's the CCs now with a 76 inch, 76 uh, millimeter bore, or maybe it's 78. Anyway, um, let me start it up for you. This will be a cold start. Prime it here. motor guys
Yeah, I think you're going to surprise your friends with this one. So, uh, best offer gets it, guys. Come take a test ride if you want. I forgot to mention it's got uh, K&N pod filters and a Stage 3 Denko. And that's the fan. That's the cooling fan that goes on. I think you can see the pods in there. Anyway, um, yeah, Stage 3 uh, Dino Jets on it. And um, these are all in the pictures, too. You'll see uh, we went up three stages on the main jet and also uh, on the pilot jets. So it's, it's, it's tuned in. We took our time tuning it. Um, you don't want these to run lean, that's for sure, when they first break in. So we're very careful with that. And it's not running rich either. So it, it's ready to go. And um, you, definitely, you definitely have a lot of fun on this bike. And it looks cool too, and sounds cool. Alright, thanks a lot guys.